Hello, I'm going to be telling you about the Yamoran situation. Let's get straight With into the video. 17 year old. The Grizzlies star point guard, Yamorant, is accused of punching a 17 year old during a pickup basketball game that took place last summer. The incident reportedly occurred for days. After a security guard at a Memphis mall filed a police report alleging that Morin threatened him. And an associate of Morin shoved him, <coughs> though no arrests were made. <coughs> During the pickup game, Morin repeatedly punched the teenager in the head, the <coughs> boy told police. The incident happened at Morin's house. And the teenager told police that Morin later went into his home and returned with a gun visible. In his waistband, Morin told police in an interview that he was acting in self-defense after the boy threw a basketball at his head. Though he acknowledged, I swung first, Morin also said that the boy threatened to come back and light this place up like fireworks as he left the property. The Grizzlies star filed a police report about that comment, saying it was a threat to his family. Prosecutors declined to file any charges. Morin's agent, Jim Tanner, said the allegations are unsubstantiated rumors and gossip, being put out by people motivated to tear Yacht down and tarnish his reputation for their own financial gain. The boy told police that Morin hit him 12 or 13 times. He said the confrontation began when Morin threw the ball hard at his chest as he attempted to check it in. When the boy responded by throwing the ball hard back, it slipped through Morin's hands and head. Him in the chin. In an interview with police, an attorney for Morin called the lawsuit a shit down. down. And don't forget Saying to subscribe. the boy's mother demanded $20 million from Morin. Hensley Clancy also reported that the boy's mother has a history of filing lawsuits that eventually get dismissed, including one against the Memphis Fire D. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make you you subscribe.